Welcome to the Skills Commons repository. This video was created to assist you with the single item submission process for the program support materials collection within your TACT grant community. In this video, we will cover how to contribute program support materials to the repository. Let's get started. Open your web browser and go to www.skillscommons.org. In the main menu at the top of the page, click on Contribute. Sign into Skills Commons using the username and password you were given. If you do not have a username and password, just click on the Click Here to Register link, fill out the form, and an account will be created for you. You will be notified via email when your account is set up. Let's go ahead and sign in. Once you sign in, you will be taken to the Submissions and Workflow Tasks page. Click on Start a new submission. Select the collection that you would like to add your submission to. Since we are contributing this material to the Program Support Materials collection, we will select that here. Then click the Next button. The single item submission process for Program Support Materials is a five-step process that allows you to enter all the metadata about your material, upload the associated files, review your submission, review and accept the terms of service, and then submit the item to the repository. Enter as much information about the item as you can in order to help others to find it in the repository. So let's begin by entering our data. For this tutorial, we are going to upload a PowerPoint on lab safety. So we'll start with the title. We'll add the title for our resource. Then for project name, you're going to enter the official name of your project from the TACT grant proposal. So go ahead and enter that here. Next, you'll select from the drop-down menu the name of the institution responsible for creating this resource. Next, you will enter the copyright owner if it is different from the grantee institution that you selected in the field above. If it is the same as the grantee institution, then you can leave it blank, which is what I'm going to go ahead and do. In the next field, you can enter the names of the individuals that are credited with the creation of this resource. So I'm going to go ahead and add two authors here, so you can see how to add multiple authors. So first we're going to enter Mary Watson, and we're going to go ahead and click the Add button. And then we're going to enter our second author, which is Donald Smith, and click the Add button again. Now let's say we realize that Donald Smith wasn't really an author. We can actually go ahead here and remove him by selecting the checkbox next to his name and then clicking the Remove Selected button. The next field is Primary License. So you're going to select the license that applies to the majority of the items in the work. Most resources will be the CC BY license, which is the default choice. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. And then you have an opportunity here to add additional licenses. So if you're if there are third party resources in the work you're uploading and they're offered under a different license from the one you've selected above, this is where you can indicate that. And also you want to note that commercial and copyrighted works cannot be uploaded to the repository. So keep that in mind when you're making your submissions. So I'm just going to go ahead and select two other um, licenses just to show you how to do that you select one and then you hold the control or the shift key and then you select the other one next you're going to enter the name of your employer partner or industry partner and briefly describe how they collaborated with you on the project so you can do that and you can add multiple industry partners and employer partners by using the add button the next field is description so use this field to describe the material in as much detail as possible so others can find it when searching the repository. 
A detailed description also helps users decide if it's an appropriate material for their use. Be as specific as possible so others can understand what the material is about. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in my description here. The next field is subject keywords. Keywords help users to find materials in the repository. Enter multiple keywords or phrases by clicking the Add button after each keyword or phrase. So I'm going to go ahead and enter just a couple of keywords and phrases. And then for date created, the year is required, so be sure to add the year. And if you know the month and the day, you can add it, but if you don't, um, that's okay, you can leave those blank. And then the next field is primary material type. So you're going to select the predominant type or kind of material characterizing this support material. So we're going to select instructor and or advisor case manager support material. And then if you have secondary material type, you could add that here as well. And if you wanted to select multiple, you could hold the control or the shift key. So I'm just going to select a couple extra. And then for credit type, go ahead and select the credit type to which this resource was originally applied. And the same goes for credential type. Then enter the number of weeks for the course and enter the number of courses in the program. Select the program delivery format. And then select the industry sector. This is the NAICS code. So for this case, we're going to select healthcare. Then you're going to select the occupation classification, which is the SOC code. And we're going to select healthcare practitioners. And then lastly, select the instructional program classification, which is the SIP code. So we're going to select Health Professions and Related Clinical Sciences. So at this point, you can save and exit and come back later, or you can click Next. We're going to go ahead and click Next. On the next page, you'll be able to browse for and upload your materials. So go ahead and click on the Choose File button. Find your material. So in this case, I have a lab safety PowerPoint that I'm going to select and open. And so here I'm going to give a short description of the file. And I'm going to go ahead and click Upload File and Add Another. If this were the only file that you were uploading, you could click Next and move on to the next step. But I'm going to take this opportunity to show you how to add multiple files. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And here you'll see that we've uploaded our lab safety PowerPoint. This is the name we gave it. And if we wanted to add another file here, we could. So we would choose File. And I'm just going to grab this text file and give a short description. And click Upload File and Add Another. Now this file really doesn't have anything to do with our lab safety um, PowerPoint, but I did want to take that opportunity to show you how to upload multiple files. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and delete this. But before I do, if you do upload multiple files, you can choose which is the primary file that's associated with the submission. So if we had multiple files, we could select the primary file. But I'm going to actually go ahead and delete this quiz study guide. So I'm going to check box next to it, click remove selected files. And then I do want to take this opportunity to show you how to edit a file that you have already uploaded. So you could click on edit for this lab safety and you could change, say you wanted to, you know, change the name of this. Let's put a space between PowerPoint. And then we do have here an embargo feature that will be covered in another tutorial, so I won't cover it here. We're just really going to edit the file. 
and then we're going to click Save. So now you see we've edited the description. So now we're going to go ahead and click Next, but you could go back or save and come back later. And this puts us on the review page. So we can review all of the information that we've entered. And if you see anything that needs to be changed, you can click on Correct one of these. If you want to change anything in the Upload File section, you would do that here. You would click on Correct one of these. This is where you uploaded your file. If you're happy with everything you've added, you can go ahead and click Next. And this is the Terms of Service, and this is the last step. So you're going to need to read through the Terms of Service, and then when you get to the bottom, you need to grant the Terms of Service. So check that you grant the Terms of Service, and then you're going to click on Complete Submission. So we're going to go ahead and complete the submission. So now you can actually go back to the submissions page and see the submission that you just created, or you can go and submit another item. We're going to go back and look at the submission that we just created. And here it is, the lab safety PowerPoint in our program support materials collection. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And here's our submission. So it's our title, our author, our description. This is the file you uploaded. And here's all the information that we have entered. So you've submitted your very first program support material. Congratulations. Please visit our Support Services Center at www.skillscommons.org for additional videos and tutorials. If you have questions or need assistance, please feel free to contact us at support at skillscommons.org.